In this video, we're gonna install a thermostat on the 2005 Toyota 4Runner. At the same time, we're gonna do a flush, Blue Devil Radio flush. First, you take off your engine cover. And we're gonna seal it with Blue Devil eventually, but you can see how much coolant I'm losing. And then four 12 millimeter bolts there to remove the under engine cover. So you can get under the radiator. And go to that stopcock right there in the corner. So here's the front of the car. Here's that stopcock. Turn the stopcock. Put a little tube at the end, zip tie it. And drain in. Since I'm low on coolant, the total capacity is around two gallons, but we'll see how much I actually have left. Here's the front of your engine. There's your thermostat, three bolts. Remove this hose, it should be empty now. And this looks like the original one. Let's see how it looks. All right, pull down that clamp, kind of wiggle this guy out. That's it, put this off to the side. And three 10 millimeter bolts. All three bolts are loose, some coolant will come out. Catch it here in the bottom. And put a little vise just for a base. Squeeze these sides and just want to twist it off of this. Alright, so move some pliers, squeeze down the springs, both sides, and so easily just twist off. Now with the empty thermostat housing, you're ready to do a little radiator flush. This will leave everything open so it can freely run through. Put this back on and we'll add some water. If you put back your housing that has no thermostat, you did step one already, removing the cap, draining the cooling system of the old fluid, close it and then fill it with just water. Got a bunch of distilled water down there. Run the engine with the heat on high for 10 minutes, drain it, and then you can repeat the drain process if your water looks pretty dirty. And then you want to put your radiator flush, top off with water, and then run it for about 10 minutes. You want to do a deep clean in three to six hours. Feel free funnels, Just put in the water, a lot quicker that way. First, use a little distilled water. Alright, so we'll start the engine. Pop this off, make sure we just continuously fill it with water. Do that for about 10 minutes. Flush all that water out, and then we'll do the radiator. Right First flush, still a little pink. All right, first step, we're gonna put the radiator flush with some water and that, and make sure you use distilled water for all this. Put the radiator flush in. And fill the rest up with water. The fluid is still pretty pink, so flush a little more water. Do it for another 10 minutes. And as my last flush here with the radiator flushing fluid. Now we're gonna let the engine completely cool down and then we'll get to the head gasket sealer. So first step, just to make sure, um, remove the thermostat, which we have done. We flush it with the radiator flush and then flush again with water, which is what I'm doing right now. Um, so after that all drains out, if it's something that I think is not clear enough, I can flush again. But basically when you're done flushing and cleaning, you want to fill the cooling system with just water. Um, the engine will be cooled down, so you can fill it up to this and then start the engine and the flint will move through your cooling system. And of course in capital letters, the engine must be cold before you begin. Remove the cap, start the engine while it's cold and then turn the heater to max. Important is to pour slowly. 
with the engine idling, slowly poured the devil, which my capacity is uh, a little under three gallons, so I'll do half a quart. So just half this bottle. So it should take you around 30 seconds after pouring the Blue Devil slowly. Let your idle car with the cap on for 50 minutes. You do not need to flush the system a second time after process is complete. Let the engine cool down before installing the new thermostat. Um, so you do have to drain most of the fluid out to get to it without making a big mess. Alright, now that we got everything cleaned out of the coolant system, we're going to want to get our uh, head gasket sealer prepped, which is pouring the water in. We're going to fill it up until it kind of stops. And you turn on the engine and the coolant will start to, or the water will start to empty. And then you want to slowly put in about half of this head gasket sealer. You want to do it slowly over 30 seconds, not too fast. Drained up. The system is not shaking anymore. So there's no check engine light or VSC light. See how long this lasts. We'll do a year and then a five year review.